Rise from your grave. Hello, Quakers, and welcome to another episode of the Quake Grave. I'm RC, and today we're going to be taking a look here at Quake 1.5. Now, I've been getting a lot of requests lately to look at this, and, uh, you know, for a few reasons. I think one, because it's obviously a brand new mod. Keep in mind that this is in beta, so a lot of the things you see here may not be in the final, final release, whenever that is, but it is fully playable. Um, one of the other things, I think, is that uh, this also is uh, probably one of the cooler weapon mods I've seen for Quake around too. Um, it actually uses uh, basically a forked version, and it says here, of uh, Seven's small mod compilation 5.3. Now, Seven has been working on uh, SMC for quite a long time. The, I, I was looking up to see when he might have started, started it. Uh, the first post that I could look up on Quake1.com on the forums there was from uh, 2010, and it may have even started before then, so I, I'm not really sure, but he has done an amazing job uh, putting this together. Now, I, I don't know what the, uh, sort of the, you know, what is SMC and what exactly is Quake 1.5, like what the ultimate difference is here, uh, but we're going to go through a lot of the different things here. Uh, also, keep in mind that this only runs on the Dark Places engine, so if you haven't installed that yet, um, they actually give you a pretty easy uh, install read uh, in the readme. They give you directions to install it. Actually, pretty easy to follow and get it going. Um, I actually didn't have Dark Places installed because I don't really use it, um, but I'm actually having fun with checking this out. So here, let's check out the game. I've actually already given myself all of the weapons. Uh, you can see here, this is the normal boomstick. I don't know if people are going to be ultimately super happy with that, uh, but you can see that shells do fall out of it. Uh, also, you can see your feet. So for those of you who are not into not seeing your feet or wonder why the Quake guy can't see his feet, uh, <laughs> that's part of it. Um, running on dark places here, too, you can see that we got a beautiful skybox. We also have uh, lighting coming in from the lightning here. Uh, very beautiful looking. Uh, this is what your new axe looks like here. You don't have that annoying ting ting anymore. I would say that this is actually one of the updates that I am very happy about. That ting kind of rattles my brain a little bit, you know, when I'm <laughs> listening to it too much. Um, you also have the double barrel shotgun. Double barrel shotgun might be my favorite in this. It just looks and feels really good. They have the screen sort of like jut back at you to, to give it, you know, much more of a feeling of power or much more, much more powerful feeling. I don't, I don't know why I'm talking like Yoda tonight. But look at that. Man is, man, is that cool. That is a really nice gun to be using when you're shooting enemies in an actual level. Uh, let's see here. We have the nail gun. Now, the nail gun, I feel like, is also a vastly improved gun compared to the first game. Don't get me wrong. I love the nail gun in the first game, but check this out. It just looks good. It feels good. Sounds good. You see his hand on the side of it. This feels like a real deal gun. Very, very impressed with it. Uh, then you have your super nail gun. It starts to get red the more you use it. Look at the detail on that. Very, very cool. Okay, you have your grenade launcher. Grenade launcher looks cool, but you know, it doesn't really do too much more different from what you would get from your regular grenade launcher. Uh, the rocket launcher might be the thing that I'm not as into. I'm, uh, you know... The original rocket launcher from the original game, it's almost untouchable, by the way. Look at all the caps and everything all over the place here. Um, I feel like the original rocket launcher is kind of untouchable when it comes to design and that kind of thing. I don't even like the rocket launcher, you know, the Quake 1 version of it in Quake Champions. There's just something about it that just looks odd when people try to update it. I don't know, but it looks fine in the original. I don't know, maybe it's a nostalgic thing. I'm not really not sure. But this is what it looks like when you shoot it. You can tell with the Dark Places and SMC stuff going on in the background, look at the explosions, just much cooler looking for sure. Of course, you got your Thunderbolt. Look at that. I also think that this is pretty, a pretty big improvement too. Looks very, very cool. Now you also have a laser gun. How cool is that? You can pick that up from certain enemies in the game. And I believe that is it. Sweet, game, uh, sweet gun, though. That's actually on 9. It doesn't even list it in your weapons. Uh, one of the other things I do like, though, is that uh, and with the uh, screen changes here, obviously, you can make it smaller. Uh, but the higher you go, you can turn the HUD off. You can have it so the weapons are actually on the right side. So uh, what's interesting is that uh, you can't see it behind my web webcam here. But actually, at the very top above my webcam, there is a little emblem there, and it, it says 9. So it does show a 9 for the laser gun. 
However, it does not show a 9 for the laser gun down here, which is kind of unfortunate. Um, I kind of prefer my weapons down here so I can just look down, see my shells and everything like that. I'm not really a big fan of my weapons being up on the side or whatever. Um, but hey, to each their own. Uh, some of the other things you could do too is you could throw grenades. Uh, there we go. So these work like a proximity. The closer you get, there you go, then they'll blow up. Uh, and there's a bunch of other things you can do here, too. You can hit shift. You can melee kick. Here's another thing you guys might be into, too. You can put on a chase cam. You can play in third person, which I think is really fun. For those of you who enjoyed or maybe hated my <laughs> my Quake 2 uh, playthroughs where I played third person, uh, that's pretty much what's going on here. And it runs really, really smooth when you're doing this, too. I think it's a lot of fun. Uh, let's see if there's anything else I'm missing out on. That's right. There is a flashlight as well. Uh, the flashlight obviously works better when you're in a darker place here, but you can see, look at that. You do get a little bit of a flashlight effect there, which is kind of cool. Um, now, you are seeing correctly here, too. Uh, this is another thing from Dark Places or SMC that I'm not completely sure about. You guys will be able to fill me in on whether this comes with the engine or not. But the thing that I'm happy about is that this actually does have the option to have uh, bots added to a multiplayer game or a co-op game. Uh, so what we're going to do is uh, let's... Let's actually go into uh, the first episode here, or actually, um, ra rather, the uh, third episode here. I just want to show off the weapons a little bit here, kill some enemies, and then we're going to go through a couple different modes as well. Here, we'll use the shotgun. Boom, look at that. So you're also getting the whole brutal brutal doom effect thing, too. They are There you go. You can see the effects of the laser from the enforcer there, which looks really good. Look at that. Blood mist, pieces going up all over the place, and I died. And that's because some of the enemies can actually... Uh, oh, I, I didn't hit the right button there. But some of the enemies can actually um, drop grenades and stuff like that under you, which is pretty interesting. Uh, we're going to load all of our weapons back up here. Just because I want to be able to show these off. Look at that. We just chopped that guy in half. The poor dude. So if you really were looking for more gore with your quake, you're going to get it. Look, we tore that guy in half. There's his bottom half and gun. There's his top half. So he does come off in pieces here, <laughs> which is pretty wild. Uh, so, you know, SMC coupled with Dark Places, cu coupled with the Quake 1.5 thing going on with the weapons and, and whatnot. Um, this is actually a really cool package uh, for those of you who are looking to play Quake in a whole other way nowadays, which I, I, I'm sure after 20-something years of playing Quake, everybody's looking for a whole new way to play Quake. Uh, there's a bunch of uh, new monsters that have been added in, too. Uh, they've taken some of the monsters from uh, Quoth, and they've taken them from Arcane Dimensions and just added them into the, nor the normal maps. So sometimes you'll be playing in a map, and you'll just see uh, creatures from... Look at that. Huge explosion. Looks pretty good. Um... You'll, you'll end up just seeing monsters and stuff just show up out of nowhere uh, from, from some of these other mods and stuff, which is kind of fun. See right there. Woo! Big explosion. Those uh, robots there, if you kill them in the right way, sometimes they'll actually drop that laser gun so you can get it. All right, let's use a grenade launcher here. Let's just at least change it up a little bit. Look at that guy. That guy was actually on fire there, which is pretty sweet. Oh, man. Yeah, did you see that? That guy actually did shoot me with a uh, grenade right there. There's another uh, Quoth enemy there. Where is he? Whoa! And I'm about to die. Ooh, this is not working out for me. Let's get our secret area here. There we go. Oh, don't jump back in. Not a good idea. Still got our quad somehow here. Look at all the stuff we're getting. Definitely stuff I did not get in the uh, <laughs> main game when I played through this game all the way through a few years ago. I don't know if you guys heard that. Sushi is in here, and he has made his presence known. Um, let's see. Trying to think of what else we have to show off here. There's so much to get to in so little time. Uh, there we go. We did end up killing that guy with the quad, so that's good. We'll hit the button here. Let's uh, switch it up to the 
Let's play a little bit of chase mode too, why not? Look at that guy, see the electrical effect and then the guy finally explodes. We got the cool, cool glass here so we can actually break that. So very, very cool. I like that they added in a lot of these different little, little things like that. Um, oh yeah, I couldn't pick up the gold key because I have a cheat going to give me all items there. Let's use the laser here just a little bit. Oh, maybe we don't have the laser? No, I guess not. No big whoop. Oh, we got another... I will say, even though I have a crosshair, it is somewhat hard to aim in uh, third-person mode if you're not used to it. There we go. More blood mist. You can see the effects and stuff of the level a little bit better in the third-person mode, though. Um, one of the things I will say, though, is the game seems... Maybe it's just me, but it seems really dark. Um, uh, where's our brightness at? Here we go. We got game brightness. Let's turn this up a, just a bit. Cause I, I feel like it was so dark, and maybe that's the way it's supposed to be. I don't know. But like, I wanna, I wanna see the game a little bit better. See the lighting. There we go. <laughs> see the quake guy's legs all jut out like that, which is pretty great. Um, okay, we're gonna jump into another level here in just a sec. Oh man, see, he, yeah, spiders have been added in. The spiders weren't in here before. Let's check out the zombies here. See, the zombies have been sort of remodeled as well. Let's hit the old button here. With the way the lighting looks like in dark places, it almost looks like it's got sort of like a bright, like N64 Quake 2 type of look to it, if that makes sense. If that's a reference anybody gets. Oh, hey. Let's see him throw those things again. Look at that. You see the, the green lighting? From the Scrag, uh, from the Scrag's uh, little sniper missile things there. What does the Scrag shoot exactly? Is he shooting out of out of his nips? I don't rightly know. Very odd indeed. We'll just we'll just put it that way. All right. Let's grab these. Hit the button. Prepare for a fight. Look at these ogres catching on fire because they went in the lava. Good effects. Pretty cool. There we go. Uh, we're going to actually change things up here a little bit, though. We're going to uh, hit Backspace, and you can pick any map that you have available to you for Quake. Um, I actually did a completely fresh, clean install for uh, this Dark Places install here. Um, so I've only got one Deathmatch map that we can check out here. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to hit home. We're going to start a server. At any point when you go to pick a level, you can start a server. You can pick between single player, team deathmatch, capture the flag, and cooperative. Uh, first thing we're going to do is some team DM here. And we're going to play on a map that I have not played uh, on in a long time, at least for a little bit here. Uh, we're going to turn this down to... Uh, turn the max players down. We don't need that many people. Ah, this is one of the things I, I, I don't like probably most about selecting options in this right now is that if I hit left or right the number goes up no matter what so you just have to keep hitting it till it laps back over to zero and you can go back up not a huge deal but just a little annoying uh, because some of these limits and everything go up to like a hundred so you got to keep hitting the button a million times to get over there uh, we're gonna change the bot skill to normal uh, there is a grapple hook too just in case uh, you were wondering uh, we we'll go back to level of select. So this is a level, as I said, that I have not played on in a long time. ZTN DM6, the Vomitorium. I remember really liking this game back when I was a kid. Uh, so we're going to spawn into this with some bots. And I love that you're just here. There are bots. You don't need any anything more than that. And like I said, uh, discerning, I'm not really sure what the difference is. Oh between like who added what as far as uh, you know SMC versus dark places and that kind of thing but we've got a excellent bot adding uh, mod here where we could easily play through some deathmatch maps here with bots which is pretty great um, because I haven't been able to play Quake 2 deathmatch in so long and I'm glad that I can't hurt myself um, 
I always forget whose team I'm on. Okay, white pants. Don't hurt anybody with white pants. Like that guy we can take out, purple pants. ZTN made some truly awesome deathmatch maps back in the day, though, I really gotta say. Oh, can we... Oh, terrible at rocket jumping. There we go. Up we go. Need to find someone to destroy. Wow! Oh, well, we got the lightning gun at least. We can use that up. So yeah, I, I like that on a whim. If I'm just feeling like playing some deathmatch, I could finally just easily load up whatever deathmatch map I want and just play, play with some bots. This is pretty fun. And with this opening up, I feel like now I could probably play some deathmatch maps on the Quake Grave, which is something I've avoided for a very long time because I wasn't really sure what the, the bot scene kind of looked like for everything. Look at this. It actually adds chain lightning to the characters, too. You guys are all white pants? Did everyone change white pants? Do you guys remember doing that back in the day where <laughs> you play a really large uh, team deathmatch map uh, and... Uh, all the players in it would just like switch their pants color to whoever was the uh, winning team. I remember doing that. It was really funny. You'd be, you'd be on a team that was winning and then everybody would just like sw swap over. It's pretty silly. You always have the two diehard guys though who would go for it. The thing about it though is that the guys who would switch over, um, they didn't realize that that would just give the other team more targets if they were rocking it, you know, with the rocket launcher or some of the other powerful weapons in the map. But man, things move so fast in this, it's hard to tell what's going on. Oh, and I can play in chase mode this way, too. That's pretty fun. You guys all have white pants. Oh my god, who is, <laughs> who is actually on the enemy team? Oh, I just got destroyed. Look at all the blood and guts and everything from all this stuff, too. Really funny. Well, anyway, um... What we're going to do now is I want to show off the uh, co-op stuff because if at any point you guys feel like it, uh, you can actually jump into co-op with up to like 16 bots. And I did this before I started recording and I thought this was super funny. Um, I'm actually going to jump the uh, bots up a little bit more though um, because they, uh, they weren't so smart when I was playing with them before. Uh, let's jump into... What do we want to play? Let's just do some classic E1M1. How about that? He just killed my friend. So now we can spawn all these bots in like this. And you can see that the, the game chunks up just a little bit with the more bots that you add in like that. See that? So we have a true... Uh, actual like 16 dudes playing. All different colors and everything like that. And they are just going to destroy everything in this level, which is really funny. So if you want to have some laughs and just play through Quake in a really silly way, uh, you can do that. Look at that. As soon as we open the door, they're just destroying everybody. We should probably turn the difficulty up, right? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, he's going to be behind there. Get him. See, I don't even have to do anything. I can just run through the level like this and they just destroy everything for me. We found the secret. Let's keep going. Uh, this is another thing that I'm not the biggest fan of is that they do have earthquakes in the game and the, the screen kind of shakes around. Um, like I said, not exactly the biggest fan of that kind of thing in games in general. I don't like my, my screen or my HUD vibrating like that. It kind of makes me a little nauseated. Oh, we got another button to hit. How do we miss a button? You guys are not doing your job. So you grab the bio suit. There's even effects on the bio suit where you can see like little, you know, uh, little sheens on the top and bottom there. Oh crap! I'm surrounded. And to the next level. I think we'll... And I, I like that all the bots talk and everything, too. That was fun. Blah, blah, blah. Good stuff. 
All right, and they all spawn in with you. I don't know how you guys don't get tele telefrag or whatever, but whatever, you know. What are you gonna do? Hey, you took my nails. We're swimming through here too. New and different swimming animation for what I remember. Uh, for what I remember, you know, it was funny because uh, the Quake guys would just kind of walk in place and that's what they did. Now they actually swim around. Where are you guys at? I think they all got stuck in the water. Ogre is down. There we go. Come on, guys. Follow me over here. Cross the bridge. Where, where are you going? Come on. Even on, even on Nightmare difficulty, they're still a little dumb. But they're having a grand old time. That's really all that matters, right? Well, I got the blue guy with me. See, he could just clean everybody up for me here. Grab our quad here. Bloop. Where the hell did you come from? Whoa! We <laughs> totally destroyed that guy. Whoa! We're gonna head this way. How about that? All right, back through here. Hey, you guys are just waiting for a fight here, weren't you? Heads popping off, blood going everywhere. Boom. Grab this armor. I don't know where my dudes are at. So you see the, some of the different designs here. Some of these lifted from, you know, knights from arcane dimensions and stuff. Here's the gargoyle dude. And of course the ogre look from arcane dimensions. Beautiful looking models though. Gotta admit that. Alright, we're gonna head around here. Let's see if we can go find our boys again before we finish the finale here. There we go. Alright, what are you guys doing back here? Come on! What are you doing? Follow me. Let's go. This way. Okay, we got the whole gang now, I think. Well, at least a bunch of them made it through. <laughs> a small, small amount of them. Come here. Come on, through the door. Not bright. Not bright at all. Oh man, the Minotaur. Wow, they destroyed him like nothing. Uh, that's what the Death Knight looks like. I'm not sure that I'm super hot on what the Death Knight looks like in this, but it's not like it's bad or anything. And it's interesting that the only character that didn't seem to get much of a remodel was the, uh, or reskin, is the uh, Fiend. Oh, some infighting. Don't want to miss it. Oh, and another fiend showed up. Grab this health. And there we go. That is the end of the level. Oh, look. There, is, there was a re, uh, reskin fiend right there. I spoke too soon. But, yeah, anyway, there you go, guys. That is a, a, a really quick look at uh, Quake 1.5. Um, I think it is definitely worth checking out. It's really, really cool. Uh, like I said, I might even use this in the future for showing off some cool uh, DM maps and that kind of thing. Um, I might even strip out the, the 1.5 and maybe just load up uh, dark places with SMC and do that with. Um, but regardless, um, yeah, I, I think this is really cool. It's really worth checking out. Like I said, keep in mind uh, that it is in beta form right now. It's not in final. Uh, maybe we'll take a longer look at this when it's in final form. Maybe they'll add in uh, an episode of levels or something like that later, which I think would be really, really cool. Uh, but for now, that is uh, Quake uh, 1.5, and uh, it's very, very cool. Definitely worth checking out, especially for a free mod for a game that we've been playing for so long. But um, yeah, great job on this one, guys. Really like the weapons, uh, really like the additions and everything in here. Uh, thank you, Seven, for SMC. I'm sorry it took so long to take a look at this. It's taken a long time to install Dark Places uh, because I don't normally use it. But hey, we finally got your mod on the show, which is great. Uh, but there you go, everybody. I'll see you all next time.